knowledge workspace. Ever pondered the question, who am I? It's one of those profound inquiries that pierces the surface and plunges into the depths of our identity. Questions, particularly those that prompt us to peer inward, hold a power that is often underestimated. They are not merely tools to extract information, they are keys that unlock the doors to our inner selves. These questions encourage us to dig deeper, to challenge our assumptions and beliefs. They push us to dissect and scrutinize our actions, our choices, our values and our dreams. They're not always comfortable and they may not always lead to clear-cut answers, but therein lies their value. They invite us to embark on a journey of self-discovery, a voyage that navigates the intricate landscape of our minds and hearts. This journey, ignited by a simple question, forms the basis of self-reflection. These introspective questions, while often challenging, serve as the catalyst for self-reflection. Before we unravel self-reflection, please remember to subscribe, like, leave a comment and share. Thank you. So what exactly is self-reflection? It's a term we've heard so often, thrown around in casual conversations, self-help books and motivational speeches. But let's take a moment to really unpack it, to break it down into its simplest form. Think of self-reflection as an intimate conversation with yourself. It involves peeling back layers upon layers of our experiences, thoughts, emotions and actions, like the skin of an onion. And just like an onion, it might make us tear up a bit. But don't worry, that's part of the process and it's a good sign that we're getting somewhere. Imagine yourself standing at the center of a labyrinth. This labyrinth represents your mind, filled with intricate pathways formed by your thoughts, emotions and experiences. Now, self-reflection is that journey you take into this labyrinth not to find a way out, but to understand its design better. It involves asking ourselves thought-provoking questions. Not just surface-level inquiries like, what did I do today? But deeper, more introspective questions like, why did I react that way? Or, what does this tell me about what I truly want? These questions act as guides, leading us through the labyrinth of our minds, helping us understand why we are the way we are. They allow us to explore our emotions, behaviors and desires and most importantly, they help us understand our own motivations and values. Self-reflection is not about judging ourselves or feeling guilty about our past actions. Rather, it's about observing, understanding and learning from them. It's about recognizing patterns, identifying triggers and gaining insights about our own selves. It's like standing on a mountain peak and looking down at the path you've taken. You see the twists and turns, the steep climbs and the easy descents. You see where you stumbled, where you paused and where you sprinted. And from this vantage point, you gain a better understanding of your journey, your strengths, your weaknesses and your potential. In essence, self-reflection is the mirror we hold up to our own lives. It's a tool that allows us to see ourselves more clearly, to understand our own story and ultimately to grow and evolve. Now, you might wonder, why should I reflect on myself? Let's dive into that question. Self-reflection, in essence, is a tool for personal growth and self-improvement. It's a way to step back, evaluate ourselves and gain insights that can drive change and progress in our lives. Think of self-reflection as a mirror for the mind. Just as a mirror shows us our physical appearance, self-reflection reveals our inner thoughts, emotions and motivations. This heightened self-awareness is one of the most valuable benefits of self-reflection. It helps us understand what makes us tick, what drives us and what holds us back. And with this knowledge, we can work on those areas that need improvement and capitalize on our strengths. But the benefits don't stop there. Self-reflection also enhances our decision-making skills. When we reflect, we're able to examine our past choices and understand why we made them. We can see the patterns in our decision-making and this allows us to make better, more informed choices in the future. It's like having a personal history book that you can consult whenever you're faced with a decision. Moreover, self-reflection can boost our emotional intelligence. When we take the time to reflect on our emotions, we learn to manage them more effectively. We become more attuned to our emotional responses and can better navigate our relationships and interactions with others. This emotional intelligence is a crucial skill, not just for a personal development, but also for professional success. Finally, self-reflection fosters personal growth. It's through this process of introspection that we learn and grow. 
Through understanding our past actions and decisions, we can make more informed choices in the future. We can learn from our mistakes, celebrate our victories, and chart a path towards becoming the best version of ourselves. Through self-reflection, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves, which ultimately leads to growth. So, the next time you find yourself asking, why should I reflect on myself? Remember that the answer lies in the mirror of self-reflection. How can one practice self-reflection effectively? Well, just as a painter needs a canvas and a writer needs a pen, self-reflection requires certain tools and techniques to be truly effective. Let's dive into some practical tips to master this art. Firstly, consider journaling your thoughts. It's like having a conversation with your inner self. Here, you're not just the speaker, but also the listener. Write down your thoughts, feelings and experiences without any filters or judgments. This can help you get a clearer picture of your emotions and you might even discover patterns in your thoughts and behaviors that were previously unnoticed. Next, set aside quiet time for self-reflection. This could be early in the morning when the world is still asleep or late at night when the day's hustle and bustle have quieted down. During this time, you're free from distractions, allowing you to dive deeper into your thoughts. Think of it as a date with your inner self, a time to understand, appreciate and nurture your thoughts and feelings. Finally, ask yourself open-ended questions. Instead of limiting your thoughts with yes or no questions, encourage your mind to explore different paths. Questions like, what am I grateful for today? Or, what did I learn from the challenges I faced today? can open a whole new world of self-understanding. Remember, the goal isn't to find immediate answers, but to ignite a process of introspection that leads to self-awareness and growth. Now, while these tips may seem simple, they can be profoundly impactful when practiced consistently. They are not quick fixes, but lifelong habits that can transform your understanding of yourself. They can help you navigate through life's complexities with a clearer mind and a more grounded heart. Remember, Practicing self-reflection is like learning an art. It takes time, patience and consistency. So, as you embark on this journey of self-reflection, remember to be patient with yourself and enjoy the process. After all, every stroke of the brush brings you closer to your masterpiece. But self-reflection isn't always a walk in the park, is it? It's easy to extol the virtues of this introspective practice, but let's not sugarcoat it. Engaging in self-reflection can be a challenging endeavor. The road to self-awareness often comes with a few bumps and hurdles, and that, my friends, is perfectly normal. One of the most common challenges we face is the discomfort that comes with facing certain truths about ourselves. It's like holding up a mirror to our innermost thoughts and feelings, and sometimes what we see might not be as flattering as we'd like. This discomfort, however, is a sign that we're on the right track. After all, Growth often comes from stepping out of our comfort zones. So, how do we overcome this? First, acknowledge the discomfort. Recognize it as a natural part of the process. Then, remind yourself that it's okay not to be perfect. Learning to accept our flaws is a crucial step in self-improvement and self-love. Remember, the goal is not to berate ourselves for our shortcomings, but to understand them better so we can address them effectively. Another hurdle that often comes up is finding the time for self-reflection amidst our busy schedules. We live in a fast-paced world where time seems to slip through our fingers like sand. But here's the thing, self-reflection doesn't have to be a time-consuming process. It can be as simple as taking a few minutes each day to ponder over your actions, thoughts and feelings. You can do this while commuting, during lunch breaks or before bedtime. The key is to make it a regular part of your routine. In the end, it all boils down to commitment commitment to growth, commitment to understanding ourselves better and commitment to making the most out of our lives. Sure, the journey of self-reflection may be laden with challenges, but with determination and a bit of patience, these challenges can be overcome. Despite the challenges, the rewards of self-reflection far outweigh the efforts. Remember, the path to self-improvement and enlightenment starts from within, and self-reflection is the torch that illuminates this path. So, are you ready to embark on the journey of self-reflection? As we conclude our exploration, let's revisit what we've discovered. 
We began by understanding the power of questions, how they can unlock the doors to our inner selves, revealing a world of introspection and self-awareness. We then unraveled the concept of self-reflection, its essence and its significance in our lives. We discovered that it's more than just a casual pondering, it's a profound process that enables personal growth and fosters mental resilience. We delved into the impact of self-reflection, recognizing its role in enhancing our decision-making skills, emotional intelligence, and overall well-being. We also learned the art of practicing self-reflection, the thoughtful ways to integrate it into our daily routines. We discussed the challenges one might face on this journey, but more importantly, we explored strategies to overcome them. Remember, the path may be challenging, but the rewards are immeasurable. Embrace self-reflection, for it is the path to understanding oneself and leading a more fulfilling life. Knowledge Workspace